Hey everyone, get ready for something new and exciting in this channel because we will be diving into the fascinating world of Austin Investigation. And this is going to be a regular series from now on because a few weeks ago, I asked if you'd be interested in something like this and the response was very, very positive. In fact, one of you even volunteered to be the subject of the very, very first investigation. So huge thank you to you, Vitor, for giving me the permission to explore your very own digital footprint. And with that, let's dive in. Okay, so I know all of you are waiting for this. Now, this is what we call a multi ego grab most of the awesome investigator use this just to show the connections of each of the informations that they are going to find now the first thing that and the only piece of information that i got was this one which is his youtube account that he used to comment and based on that i got his first name and surname okay now here, um, let, the first thing I did was just do some Google Dork search engine type of search. And one thing that he asked me to censor is his last name. So most of the things that you'll be seeing like with a XXX means that is his last name. So let's just call him with his first name, which is Vitor. Now, doing a Google search, one thing that... The first thing that I've found, a social media account of his is his Instagram profile. And based on that Instagram profile, what we can see is now most of his social media profile shows that he has a Bandcamp account, which is all about music and all of the music that he's publishing. Now, based on that Bandcamp account, we can defer that infer is what i mean that he's using a username called hadrim okay now for hadrim again another audio jungle another music publishing site but one thing that we have found there is that he has a world of warcraft account and he's using the same username now and on that warcraft account there is we can see based on his achievement that the last time he had played is January 20, 2019. Now, in some of the OSINT investigation, those type of certain dates is something that is really useful also. That's why you need to just capture it. And if you want to see some other connections, like for example here on the World of Warcraft account, you can see his guild and there are a lot of other peoples in that guild that is something that you can check for connections also when you're doing an OSINT investigation and now as I think you are having an idea why when people are saying OSINT investigation it is going down a rabbit hole because it is just following each and every information that you are capturing like search and searching related information into it and then that's the reason why it is really important to grab out have a visual representation of the information that you are capturing now based on the bandcamp profile one thing that we had is that the hadrim name also has a facebook account and it has a associated username hadrim official unfortunately it doesn't yield any connecting information based on our investigation but it shows a youtube account that is based on the about the additional links that it has it shows a soundcloud account and a possible place that he is located which is e to Wataba, brazil which is by the way on his band band camp account it is also pointing that he is from uberaba brazil okay the same the, um, the facebook account for hadrim is pointing there 
and some other information also. So at least you now have, you know that he is from Brazil. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to the next um, rabbit hole that we can see. And one thing that we would know about him is, is he is a very good 3D modeler based on the different types of sites where he uploads his work like CG Dream, CG Trader, ArtStation. Okay, so based on those, um, at least you know he one of his job aside from producing music is 3D modeling. And on the art station, we have found another useful username which is Beck the Sorcerer. Okay, now that one leads to a start to a Stack Overflow account, uh, which didn't lead to anything, at, but we had another username that we could have used for um, doing some search engine or doing some data leak things about it. Okay, so you have this. Okay, Pinterest also points to a, what you call it, shortened name as a username. And we also found his YouTube address, just doing a basic search of his name and patreon okay one of the more interesting thing is using his name also we have found his here a steam account and as you can see when whenever you get a steam account it shows a lot of usernames that you username or character names that you have used in different games which is really really good because Based on that one, we have found another email from him, which is this one using a username gameotic, gameotic that gmail dot com is some a username that is existing and that is something that is connected to him. Okay, so we also using the gameotic we could find that that is the same username he used for Graptrion, which is like a statistics for your patreon page another youtube channel for him nexus mod and a website <laughs> showing him showing us the different a, a post saying one of the mods that he created is something coming from nexus mod a, yeah, it's one of the better or best models of a Naruto Naruto model that is that can be found on Nexus mod. So as you can see, and also Black Desert Online, uh, something that he is, what you call it, had been playing. Uh, his last log in is five fifteen, and that is something that we can go to the next one. Which is the Facebook page because on his Facebook page you can you would know that this is his team account. He's playing Black Desert Online because on his Facebook page he has shown a video of him actually playing Black Desert Online. So at least you know that this information is something that you can verify by going to his Facebook account. Now Facebook account links to an Instagram account based on the profile. Instagram shows his um twitter or x account also okay now here is gmail okay now one way that you can show or you can verify a certain email of someone is going to a certain email permutator let me show you really quick okay so this is a sample of email permutator and for example jando gmail okay and let's go with this one and if you have okay you can click generate email address and what you can do is go to your gmail account okay and uh, let's see Go to your Gmail account. Go to okay. So this is a Gmail account, 
and here we this all of this okay and you can just copy it to two and if the email is has a profile going here that is it means that the email is active okay so that's a quick way to verify any gmail account that that you that you are checking out or this is a very fast way for you to permutate if you have a name a first name and a surname and try to find out certain email combination that a person may have used okay so now based on that email this is what we got okay so on the email what we have is that there is a data leak on dub smash and it points to a username username which is just a compound of his first name and last name at least we verify that another data leak is okay so let's check all of the data leak okay now based on this username about upon checking the data leak by the way i will not be showing you how to check data leak because i am not sure if accessing data that came from criminal activities is something that is allowed on youtube at the moment and if i can verify that it is not it is something that i can show you how but based on this username on that data leak okay what we have found another email that's something that we cannot found on the using just simple search engine and that email points to several data leaks okay so yeah that email points to an old twitter account or x account with a username god of wednesday it points to an old myspace account and a myspace id it points to a to an old password which is da do da amor it points to an old password again coming from xpoint.in and this is an old password that he has okay and this is this is adobe.com yeah, adobe.com okay so and this is a password like leak from adobe.com and this is the um the username that he has and another one is a data leak using his name by the way not the username the compound first name surname which but his name space last name and it leaks his birthday so as you can see this is the password um 1996 and that is also his birthday so we can verify that yeah this is a possible old password that he is using and by the way he has confirmed it and if ever you're gonna try some of his account this password doesn't work anymore sorry guys he had already changed it and this is one of the things that you should learn and this is how hackers can find some of your password they are just reuse if you are reusing your password and those are included in some data leaks that is how hackers would do it okay so there there you have it and okay since i am not showing you how to uh, get some data or some data leak data one thing that i will be showing you is that if you have your it is how you can verify your very own personal email this is my old email and you can just go to have a bit pound, pound dot com click check as you can see that email address that i have is in 16 email breaches so twitter gravatar wattpad aptoid lead hunter collection one my fitness pal live journal okay so here you can see that live journal it has leaked my 
password, my usernames, email addresses, the same with anti-public, same with daily motion. So some of here, the password are stored or in hashes. So it may take some time for people to, or for the hacker to decrypt your password. But for example, here on live journal, it shows the actual password in clear text. So that is really, really bad. But yeah, this is one way for you to check if your email address has been part of any data breaches. So that's one one thing maybe I can show you because I wasn't able to show you this one because I'm really not sure the legality of this and how YouTube will still react. <laughs> I love my channel and I don't want it to be suspended because of doing something like that. But I hope you enjoyed this. This really looks beautiful and how each of the data and all all the all I ever did aside from the data leaks is just do some Google dorks. Check different types of search engine by the way. Google Yandex Bing. Each of them has different different capabilities and I can discuss it in the future if you want. But each of them would is better at certain items okay so yeah and this is what we call information rabbit hole and this is what it looks like that wraps up our very first awesome investigation here on this channel a massive thank you again to Vitor for being such a good sports allowing us to explore all of his digital footprint now i hope you find this as insightful as i did now this is where you come in if you are curious about your own online presence i get an opportunity for you i am looking for our next volunteer remember this is a safe transparent and ethical process i will always get your full for me permission and you'll have the complete control on what gets shared. So, if you're brave enough to be the next subject of my OSINT investigation, drop a comment down below or reach out via your prefer preferred method. Let's see who's next. Always remember, keep on hacking my fellow hockeysters.